Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Rad Kutarot and uh, in this whole video uh, you are going to see the um, weekly tarot readings August 3rd to August 9th 2020 in terms of career and in terms of relationship uh, and uh, with that being said, a few notes about the show before uh, you see the reading itself you can skip forward if you want to but um, you also, if you do like the way I read, you can participate for uh, my tarot classes uh, in there. I'm going to explain you uh, how to read tarot cards in generally uh, with the spread that I'm using in this very video. And uh, the first, the beginner's tarot class is now available uh, recorded, which means that you can take it on your own pace. And in there you're going to find 12 hours of content, explanation, I I'd like to think a profound explanation of the major arcana and how to use them in terms of career, in terms of relationship or in terms of a looking for career or looking for a relationship and as well how they stand in the spread itself. And at the end as well you're going to have a few examples how to read just only with the major arcana. That being said, the you're going to be pretty set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings uh, when you finish the course and uh, yeah if you do want as well personal reading uh, you can go to my website uh, which is listed here into the description uh, of this video and uh, there pretty much on the very front page you're gonna find a full list of my services and as well their pricing the course can be purchased from uh, the same website going into the tarot classes section so that being said lay back and uh, enjoy the show right so uh, let's have a look what uh, Virgo are to experience throughout the upcoming week. Now the first thing that we're going to start with, this is going to be uh, your uh, relationship and uh, love in general guys. So let me shuffle and uh, see what you got. Right, so the first one in terms of relationship and love that is going to be the Queen of Wands, uh, followed by the um, Knight of Wands here with the second. Uh, third one is going to be the Page of Cups and uh, the last one uh, we do have the Lovers and obviously it's, it's pretty much a choice for you Virgo, that will be a very short one. Uh, especially for those which are single, all right? So uh, those which are single, for what it seems, they're going to really catch the attention of two people. Uh, we do have the Knight of Wounds and the Page of Cups, okay? So uh, how can I describe those, uh, those people here? Um, one is going to be rather very enterprising person, okay? And it will, it will appear very interesting as well. Uh, someone that you would love to explore, right? Someone that you will be amazed how they tackle with things and how they have their life led and etc, etc. Et you know, all these kind of... Uh, so pretty much is going to appear as a uh, uh, an individual that you would want to know how they do their things and you would want to be a part of their life. The other one, which is the Page of Cups, well, these people, they're very emotionally attached, okay? And in fact, they're feeling depressed. They are not just feeling, they are depressed if they're not emotionally connected with something, somebody, in this case, you, all right? Uh, now, traits, okay? Uh, Knights of Wands, they're prone to promise everything. Okay, or not exactly promise everything, but to say everything. Uh, because what they what they do, they're opportunists. Okay, in a sense of that they um, try their chances, if I may say it that way, and they try their chances multiple times. So they will try to talk with you for one thing, if that's something that you don't keep up with, they will try talking with you with another. So pretty much it is like they are trying the soils. While the soil here, while the Page of Cups, they are more slow to adaptation. It's just like they are pretty, um, pretty much dwelling and trying to make a, a big assessment over the situation and over the over the positions that they are standing at and that's why they may find it very difficult to keep up with 
with your demands, if you will, throughout the week in terms of love and in terms of relationship. Uh, the interesting thing here, however, Virgo, it is how you do appear in the society and that is by the Queen of Wands. So I want to imagine, I want you to imagine this thing. Imagine that the situation is a, a night in the desert, right? I mean, if you do know nights in the desert, they are very, very cold, okay? And you appear to be a bonfire there at the middle of the desert, in the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere. And everybody tries to get to the bonfire, so tries to get themselves warm. So that's why you're going to attract a lot throughout the week. So make sure you do your makeup right, you, you dress with the best clothes you do have, and try to socialize for as much as you can in this uh, COVID-19, you know, environment around. Um, because at the end, ultimately, you're going to have a choice to make, okay? And that is the choice in between what you want to do, that will be the Knight of Soul uh, on the Knight of Wands, or what you have to do, which is going to be the Page of Cups. The choice is yours. There is no right or wrong decision here. Although this style reading shows that you got to go with uh, what you have, uh, with what you, what you have to apologize, and that will be the Page of Cups. The one that is emotional and slow to keep up with demands. Uh, those which are in ongoing relationship, you know, and uh, or marriage, that could speak for a, for a chance of affair, you know, a third party comes about and shows their interest towards you. Again, depending on what kind of a stage your marriage is, because if your marriage is on the rock and you pretty much does not want to be in it any longer, well then by all means go with the new one, but otherwise stick with what you already have. Okay, that's that's very very important. So we do definitely have a somebody that appears for you, and um, you have a chance to either change your relationship or to jump into a new one. So that was about your relationship, guys. Now let's have a look at what we do have in terms of career for you. Right, so the first one is going to be the Six of uh, Swords, followed by the Two of Swords here. Uh, the third one is going to be the Lovers. And the last one, um, in terms of career, that will be the, the King of Pentacles. So career-wise, uh, is also pretty straightforward that we do have for you, Virgo. Uh, it does look like that you will have to break the silence there, or rather like to break the inactivity. Now, it will fall to you to organize, or rather like to how do you say it, mm, to unite, okay? Uh, those that are working in your project or over your things under the common goal. So whatever differences there are in there, they have to be put aside and everybody needs to start working toward the, you know, the, uh, the common good or rather like toward the cumulative agenda, if you will. So that being said, Throughout this, uh, throughout this particular week, it will be tested how well you manage to keep up with the good relationships you do have into your career, because you're definitely going to need allies throughout the week itself. So the week does not, uh, career-wise, it does not speak that much for a... Um, not, it's not like not making progress, but personal progress, okay? It speaks more toward a cumulative progress in how well you can, again, orient everybody around toward a, the, common, uh, the common goal. And at the end, at the end of the week, should you keep up with the tasks, should you, should you be able to manage with the, uh, with the challenge here of, unite, of uniting everybody around under the, uh, under the common banner or the yeah, the common bam, I don't know, the, how, how do you say it? The common cause, all right? Um, that will be rewarded uh, because at the end we do have the King of Pentacles and that usually in terms of a career that appears as the owner, right? 
of uh, of the whole thing that sees potential in you and uh, it's not like they are going to promote you straight away but what may happen is that you will receive a confirmation that if you do keep up the work uh, if you do keep up the good work rewards are gonna come your way and it's very possible that you're gonna see a, a partial reward just at the end of the week but again very very important throughout the week itself it is to be able to make the tough calls there i mean don't back off responsibilities and as well maintain a harmonious relationships with everybody around even if you don't like them remember you're there to make money not to make friends uh, those who are looking for job uh, for them a uh, job offer or opportunity to start a job definitely is going to appear okay in fact it may be more than just one but it's not going to be exactly what they have expected and they will have a little bit of a, uh, a hesitation or rather like uh, they will lack confidence that they will be able to keep up with the job and uh, that is totally fine and in reality there is nothing for you to be afraid of just if you do like the money take the job guys because you will be able to get the hang of it pretty pretty quickly so that was your uh, career reading for the week uh, and uh, that concludes your reading Virgo for uh, the week itself in terms of uh, love and uh, career. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we may see each other next time. Till then, bye.